The one time I'd like to stay in an airport and we have to run. Right after we arrived in Bangkok, after 24 hours of traveling, we ventured out from our hotel to get some food in an alley. I don't even know what this stuff is, but I'm excited. <laughs> First time meal. Our first meal in Thailand literally came from a little cart in a tiny street market in an alley. I was a little skeptical, but it was actually one of Tori's favorite meals of the whole trip. And after, we wandered around a bit. We had dinner for $3. Three dollars. And it was fucking good. Melon green tea. At the airport, but now we have passion fruit. This is my favorite part of the whole trip so far. It's so fun. Basically, like sugar and tea. Sugar. <laughs> it tastes good, though. They're super good. Where are we? Wat Pho. Wat Pho. It's very pretty and very cool. And we, uh, it's hot. It's really hot. It's really hot. But, but it's really pretty. And 200 bucks to get in, and we got a free water. So at least we got that going for us. We haven't gotten the free water. We yet. haven't gotten the free water yet, but we've been sweating. Apparently, we get a free water. Yeah, we've been sweating a lot, so we'll get one later when we when we leave. But there's so much detail to everything. Like everything has got a jewel on it, or like some sort of stone. In Wat Pho, we saw the Lion Buddha, and we were expecting something like normal size, but when we walked into the building, it was huge. It took up the entire building. It was amazing. I especially love the bottom of the feet because they were super intricate. After Wat Pho, we went a little further down the road to see the palace and the Golden Temple. It's a pretty sprawling area and just as intricate as Wat Pho. Unfortunately, we couldn't go inside most of the buildings, so that was a little bit of a bummer, but there were still a lot of great things to see. After a very bumpy boat ride across the river, we visited Angkor Wat, another beautiful and highly detailed temple with deadly stairs. You definitely did not want to miss a step. We stayed at the Marriott Surawangsi, if that's how you say it, and it was a great hotel. Ooh. Oh, look at this view. Ooh. Open the window. I know, where's the button? There's gotta be a button. It's our room. TV, bathtub and shower. You can enjoy the view from the toilet if you really want to. Ooh. Oh, you can see the pool from 
our room. Really? Yeah, it's right down there. Oh man. The room was super comfortable and there was an infinity pool on the 17th floor as well as a rooftop bar. So we had great views of all of Bangkok. We loved the breakfast buffet there. They had food from all over the world, American breakfast, English breakfast, Asian breakfast, and they had a ton of amazing pastries, which is where I spent most of my time. On our last night in Bangkok, we went to a night market to get food, and this was something that Tori was looking forward to the most. We tried quite a bit of stuff, but it was pretty intimidating since we'd only been in Thailand for a few days. We didn't really know what to order or how to order, so we didn't get too adventurous. <laughs> Like temperature hot, but it's really good. Is it? Watch out. Wanna try it? I would love to try it. They put this little napkin on it. Mm -hmm. 